It's one of the few places in the world where anyone who is out and about enjoying the coastal areas could see a say well from shore. And as a result, the Falkland Islands has been designated as a key biodiversity area for say whales, which is a global first. So this confirmation as a key biodiversity area is re really, really something to celebrate for say whales. We are the very first one of these areas in the world for say whales, just proving what a, a global hotspot we are for these endangered whales. Almost no one else in the world can go out along their coastlines and see these say whales in the numbers or as close as we can here. And this, this KBA confirmation is an, is an international recognition of that. It's really, really something for the islands to be proud of. This international recognition of the importance of the Falkland Islands for say whales is a result of five years of ongoing research by Falklands Conservation. It's a major milestone for us um, as an organisation uh, for Falklands Conservation and for myself personally. It's, it's been a, a large amount of time invested in working with the, the whales and uh, the work is amazing. There's so many highlights anyway on a day-to-day -day basis but yeah, to have this as a, a kind of really tangible end goal and result, it's, it's great. The research has been a collaborative approach with funding partners including the RSPB, Darwin Plus, EU Best and the Falkland Islands Government and much has been discovered about the whale populations in and around the islands. The say whale is a species that's really very poorly known uh, globally so a lot of the information we're finding out here on, um, on the diet and the group sizes and what the whales are doing and how they're foraging it's really um, globally significant information it's, it's telling us a lot about the species here and also that will apply to other areas too so it's a big learning curve and we're really only just scratching the surface with what we've discovered about the whales and kind of uh, for every answer you get there's another 20 questions um, so I think there's a lot of scope for this continuing for some time to come. Just one of the discoveries in the course of this research is that say whales return to the Falklands year on year identifiable by their dorsal fins. This is key data which the public can help with by sending in their whale photos. People keep sending us uh, whale sightings as well which is really really fantastic um, and helps us sort of add extra data to that. So just because we've got this, this international recognition now doesn't mean that all of that stops. We're going to carry on collecting that data. We still want people to be really engaged in sending us their sightings and we're just going to carry on building up this picture of just how special the islands are. Say whales are found globally but in the Falklands there appears to be an abundance of them. However, there is still very little known about this endangered species meaning that this KBA is a significant scientific achievement. At the moment, this is really just something to celebrate. We want to just show the world how amazing the Falkland Islands are for these whales. We want to have everyone in the islands celebrating this together and, and recognising how, how incredible the islands are. In the long term, um, we really hope this KBA will sort of contribute to marine management in the islands and help um, continue you know, to have these whales for, in such numbers and to share these waters with such amazing neighbours. Um, but yeah, at the moment we just want to celebrate.